Now welcome back to the first update on my random weirdness group build. I'm about to begin this Pegasus Hobbies kit, the Alpha Centauri UFOs. There's two short-range saucers. Come with two little alien figures. They're posable. Uh, you set, just set them inside the the uh, spaceships. And uh, there's two bags, one of clear. It's got the two dome, clear domes, and two rings, top and bottom, for the uh, lights around the uh, saucer. It doesn't come with lights. You just uh, instructions just say to paint them translucent blue. We'll look into that. I don't think I'll, I'm not into wiring lights, so I won't be doing that. And one bag of opaque parts. The tops and bottoms of two saucers, and uh, you can have one flying and one uh, sitting on the ground on legs, which I think I'll be doing. There's not a lot of parts. Uh, I'll just be cleaning these up. The instructions are fairly simple. There's only five steps, and then the coloring uh, instructions. You put the interior together, but it does say to uh, to paint the interior panels prior to assembly. You can have, like I say, you can have one with legs and one uh, flying with the bottom closed up, and then uh, positioning the alien figure inside. There is one thing I noticed when I was looking back at some of the other builds on YouTube where people have done this and and reading the instructions here, is that these are made of ABS plastic, not styrene. So the regular uh, glues, styrene glues will not work. It says use a CA glue, a cyan cyanoacrylic adhesive for gluing opaque parts. Uh, do not use methyl ethyl ketone based glues as they do not work with ABS plastics. So I guess we'll be using uh, like a super glue, a CA glue type thing for that. That's the only caution on this. Uh, so stay tuned. I think what I'm going to do uh, maybe I better not say what I'm going to do because we'll see if it works out or not. So stay tuned for updates. Okay, well I'm back with my first update. I've got the uh, parts washed and uh, some dry fitted together. I've got the two uh, seat halves together on the two pieces here and then there's four pieces that go together for the interior. I have them on just dry fitted in here because I have to paint them first. I've got the legs just pressed on. They, they're at um, Sort of a snap fit, a press friction fit on there, and I've got the little disc on the bottom to close off the bottom of this one that'll be in uh, in, uh, in in the air. I don't want to move it because these parts here are just sitting loose. Put these four parts here to make the circle inside the cockpit, and then this just uh, will have to be glued on top. So there's not too much that has to be glued. I didn't have to glue the seats or the legs in. Um, I. I uh, might have to glue the seat to the bottom. It's, this one's a little bit loose. They just, there's little slots in the floor that these these tabs go into here, and they only go in one way, so um, that will makes it easier to fit together. So that's about all the parts except for the clear. There's the two rings that go inside to paint the, the lights on them, and then the dome, and then the, uh, the alien pilots. So there's not a lot to it. It's mostly going to be the painting. So it's just to decide all the colors I want to put in here and uh, what I want it to look like. That's <laughs> the challenging part. So, so far so good. Stay tuned. Okay, here's a quick update. I've got, back in the paint booth here. I've got the uh, saucer assemblies done in a Steinol Res, sort of a silver, metallic silver uh, primer. That went on really nice. That was a couple of days ago. I still haven't decided what colors I'm going to go with on the inside, so I've got all the interior panels done in the silver uh, Steinol Res primer as well for a a base coat and then I'll put some colors onto that. For the other saucer here that's going to be landed, I did the Steinol Res Silver Primer and then um, some Steinol Res uh, Black Primer. I just did a little bit of pre-shading with the airbrush just to give it a bit of a weathered look. Now what I'm planning to do now is go over that with some gunmetal and just to make it look a little bit older and uh, more weathered than the other one which is a little newer and shinier. So back to the paint booth. So now I've started painting the interior and the details and what I've started is with the uh, Steinle Res Black Primer. Just brushed it on some of the components here as a base and then I've got the uh, Craftsmart King's Gold and some uh, metallic green and metallic paint. So I just brushed those on with a fine brush over the black and I'm going to have to do these ones here maybe in copper and, and different colors but I thought for the uh, instrument panel I started that again with the black primer and some of the green on the gauges there. And then over the black primer, I've gone over that with the gold and uh, 
the green, I think that looks kind of alien looking. I'll do some more colors on the knobs. It looks like two uh, roller balls here for his hands and some buttons there. So uh, lots of poking around here, but I'm enjoying this part of the work and uh, trying to decide what colors to come up with. Okay, well I've chosen some colors for the interior. I did a gold uh, over black on the main console here with a bit of uh, green, bright green in here in the panels on the like a radar type screen. Just some uh, sharpie markers on the buttons here. I did a metallic purple wash over the panels. And a copper on here and a, and a red uh, metallic on here. Same on the other side. Just changed up a few of the buttons a little bit. Got the panels and things done here. <clears throat> okay, well I made a little bit more progress. I've got the seats painted. I've airbrushed on some of this folk art charcoal black. I don't think it'll show up on the camera, but uh, it's got a bit of a gold flake to it. I was hoping that would be evident. You can sort of see it in person a little bit on, the, on there. I'll maybe try and put a picture in. I'm thinking of doing the insert. I had that taped off. I'm thinking of doing that green. You can see chromate green or lime green. The two seats are done the same. I've done the landing saucer. I want it to be a little darker than the flying saucer. Um, so I've done that with some gunmetal. I've airbrushed gunmetal over that. I had it a bit pre-shaded, as you saw previously, with just some black uh, craft paint. And I've gone over with the Tamiya panel line black, uh, just to fill in the, the slots and, and give it a bit of uh, age and, and weathering on, on the uh, legs and that, just to bring out the details. Um, stay tuned, we'll see what uh, I come up with next. Okay, I made my decision. I went with the Craft Smart, um, sorry, Folk Art Lime Green Craft Paint for the seat inserts. And uh, this is the story that I'm going with. One, one saucer has landed uh, as having engine trouble or somebody can't get going again. It's been around for a while. That's why everything's a little bit darker, a little bit dirtier. I've done the interior floor, uh, brushed on with uh, burnt orange. And then a little dry brush of uh, brick red to darken that up a little bit. And it's been around longer. It's gotten a little bit worn and dirty. Um, I'm going to try and I might even rust it up the outside of the saucer a little bit. I've done a brown wash on the seat on the one seat there. Try and make it a little bit more weathered. The other saucer is a little shinier, a little newer, a little cleaner. And I've done that with the pumpkin patch orange America, Americana. A little bit brighter, a little bit cleaner. He's going to be flying in to uh, get he's found this saucer that had uh, broken down. So that's the story I'm going with and the look I'm going for. So stay tuned. More to come.